Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the Weekly Report, your look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Turn the Page wins a $10,000 prize from AT&T's Nationwide Data for Diplomas Challenge. The grant will help fund the development of an innovative database so that schools can more easily share student records. The idea for the database was the product of a brainstorming session at an education summit. One idea that was discussed was simplifying the enrollment process when kids transfer from school to school and district to district because a lot of times they miss uh, between five days and a month while waiting for enrollment records uh, to transfer between schools via fax. So our solution was to come up with an online portal where the outgoing school could instantly upload enrollment documents and the new school that the student was going to could then instantly download them. Uh, and this would essentially reduce the delay from five days to a month to maybe one day because they could instantly uh, download the enrollment records. Mayor Sly James founded Turn the Page four years ago. Its mission is to mobilize the community to help Kansas City students read at grade level or above by the third grade. For more information, visit kcmayor.org. Northeast Arts KC will host its 20th anniversary Cultures Without Borders art exhibit this March. Local artists can submit their work for possible display. Cash prizes will be awarded for best submissions in 2D, 3D, best theme, and mixed media categories. For more information on submitting art or attending the event, visit northeastartskc.org. Across the board, city departments are always looking for different ways to be more green. The Parks and Recreation Department has come up with a creative new way of their own. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Parks and Recreation. Uh, we have a lot of events and campaigns for which we have banners printed. And oftentimes we are able to reuse the banners for the following year's event, but there's many times that we're unable to do that. And instead of having the banners just lie around or having to throw them away, uh, we wanted to do something special with them. And we're able to find a company called Relan that takes our old banners and upcycles them into fun and unique promotional products. We've done such things as luggage tags, business card holders, pad folios, and just regular uh, shopping bags. So this is kind of a fun and unique way that we feel we can be very green. Those are pretty stylish too. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, here to give you a glimpse of some of the upcoming events taking place for your family at City Facilities in the weeks ahead. Discover the Dinosaurs comes to Bartle Hall February 6th through 7th. Explore the mystery of prehistoric life in an environment full of learning, discovery, and fun. A unique hands-on exhibit consisting of moving and replica dinosaurs that you can actually touch. Beyond the exhibit, additional activities are available for kids of all ages, including riding a dinosaur, themed inflatables, a dino dig, and gem and fossil panning. Bring the entire family and spend the day with dinosaurs. For additional information, go to discoverthedinosaurs.com. World of Wheels rolls into Bartle Hall February 12th through the 14th, featuring America's finest hot rod, custom trucks and motorcycles with special celebrity guest appearances, and a live concert on Saturday night, featuring Danny the Count Coker. For ticket information and event times, go to autorama.com. Mark your calendars for two shows coming to the Music Hall that you don't want to miss. First, Mike Epps returns to Kansas City for the Don't Take It Personal Tour with special guests Don D.C. Curry and Coco Brown at the Kansas City Music Hall on February 20th. Then, extra extra, get your red hot tickets to Newsies the Musical February 23rd through 28th at the Music Hall. Set in New York City at the turn of the century, Newsies is a rousing tale of Jack Kelly, a charismatic newsboy and leader of a ragtag band of Newsies who dream only of a better life far from the hardship of the streets. 
but when publishing titans, Joseph Pulitzer and William Randolph Hearst raised distribution prices at the newsboy's expense, Jack finds a cause to fight for and rallies newsies from across the city to strike for what's right. These are just a few of the many exciting events the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities offers our community. To learn about even more events, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Thanks to the St. Andrews Pipes and Drums group for being here with us this morning. Very, very nice. And thank you all for being here today. We ordered the sunshine especially for today. It may be the last time you see it for a week. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, good to have you all here. My name is Ross Marshall, and I'll uh, uh, kind of be the MC this morning. I'm past president of the Native Sons and Daughters of Greater Kansas City. And... Uh, uh, actually chair of the uh, markers committee too, which is why we're here today. And one of the ways that we do education is markers like this. We've been doing these kind of markers for several decades and there's at least 50 around in the greater Kansas City area and there's going to be some more because we generally do a couple a year and uh, we did one, actually dedicated one last Friday. Uh, you mentioned the word heritage, uh, Ross, in your comments. And that's a lot of what the Ethnic Enrichment Commission is all about, is heritage. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, you're an 83-year-old organization. Uh, we partner with a lot of groups throughout the city. And I'd like to say you're our longest-serving partner organization, but you missed it by one year, unfortunately. Uh, but one year's not very long, and I say that because uh, the Kansas City Road Society partnership with Casey Park started in uh, 1931. And you came one year later in 1932. So there again, collectively, that's the two largest uh, long-term partnerships. One that's not far behind is 39 years, and that's the Ethnic Enrichment Commission, uh, formed back in 76. And so if you look collectively, you've got 83 and 39. Quick math tells me that's about 122 years of serving Kansas City, restoring our history, looking at our culture, and a big part of that, of course, is the history of Kansas City and what it means to this park system. Well, let's talk about the Native Sons. The Native Sons is a historical group made up of the people that you see here, and they've been there forever. What we do is we preserve history. Uh, we'd like to invite you and be part of the Native Sons. Think about this. We have three meet and greets, and they're all over the city. George Costello did one of us for us down there this year, and we had 120 people show up. Uh, Anna Marie Tatera brought us over to the Kansas City Museum. John brought us over on the east side in one of the lovely homes. Uh, the fourth one was right here at your festival. And Melinda says there's 43,000 of them were there. I think there were a lot more. I don't think you count the kids, but I think we had way over 50,000. And every year it grows and grows and grows. I'm thrilled to death to be part of it. I'm thrilled to death to know all of you as my friends. And God bless you for allowing me to be here. I like the key words that they use when they say, you people. And you people are us, we the people. Within all of our ethnicity that we've brought together here in the greater Metroplex area, and I'm extending the boundaries of the Kansas cities, we would like to certainly join the Sons and Daughters organization. And Carl, I'll be your backup on the Kansas side Go to bring them. Yes, Kansas we can do this. Well, so congratulations on the event, and thank you so much for this blessed event that's going to take place with the uncovering of the plaque, and thanking each and every one of the instrumentalists that have been here to compliment this glorious day. Mr. Hess, thank you so much for the honor of speaking on behalf of the Ethnic Enrichment Commission. Well, Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. And we thank you. <laughs> okay. Pull it to the side. Pull it to the there side. You go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Vauton Roulet. Hey, welcome to Jazz, everyone, and hell to Heather, welcome as well. Thank you. Glad to be here to talk about Restaurant Week coming up. It is. You know, this is the seventh annual KC Restaurant Week here in Kansas City, and it starts January 15 and goes through the 24th. And on behalf of the Greater Kansas City Restaurant Association, Heather Hall, we, together we would like to invite you to join us and, and visit as many restaurants as y'all can, can during the next uh, next nine days. Have a great time. Les Ailes Bonton Roulet. Let's good times roll. Cheers. Cheers. In recognition of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday, January 18th, City Hall and other city offices will be closed. Curbside trash and recycling pickup will also be delayed one day throughout the week. For example, residents who usually have Monday collection will receive the service on Tuesday and Friday's trash will be picked up on Saturday. To view this program again or other Channel 2 videos, go to kcmo.gov and search Channel 2. That page has a link to our YouTube channel where you'll be able to view many of our programs on demand. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.